Kids and families who rely on subsidized school lunches may soon be seeing some changes in their menus. The Trump administration is rolling back school meal nutritional requirements set by the Obama White House. The move will allow cafeteria operators to bring back things like white rice and flour tortillas. Proponents of the change say it's a matter of taste. Gay Anderson works for the School Nutrition Association, which represents cafeteria operators and suppliers like Domino's and Kellogg's. We are not seeing this as a reversion or reverting to anything. We are seeing this as offering some great flexibility for the schools that have those few items that just we cannot get the children to eat. But taste is a personal choice. I would choose brown rice because brown rice is much more healthier than white rice, and I know that because my mom told me. The program was a key aspect of former First Lady Michelle Obama's platform to help cultivate healthy eating habits in children amid alarming obesity rates. Schools had to switch to whole grain versions of food to retain federal funding for free meal programs. The Trump rollback has resulted in lawsuits by several states, as well as the Center for Science and the Public Interest. We think that it harms kids, in short. We had this huge achievement, which is what that Congress told uh, the U.S. Department of Agriculture to write rules that would be better for kids' health for the school, meal, lunch, and breakfast programs. These programs serve 30 million children, 22 million of whom are low income. Sodium and dairy standards are targeted as well. What the rollbacks mean is that kids will eat an extra six cups of salt over the time that they're in school. Six cups. That's a lot of sodium. That's a lot of sodium. And we know that what they're already eating today is making them sick. Laura Benavides runs the Boston Public Schools Food and Nutritional Services. She says it will continue to follow the stricter standards. I think because we are as in the business of education and educating our children, it's not only what they learn in the ca classroom, it's but what they learn in the cafeteria. And we want them to be really good, uh, really good eaters. And that's good news for health conscious kids like Azara Tillich. I love this, um, the school lunch because before the lunch came in like um, plastic containers, but now they make it fresh every day and it tastes so much better. The American Heart Association has also criticized the decision and is calling on school districts to stick to the previous standards. Vanessa Alvarez, The Associated Press.